all. I would like to talk about uh, the art of strategy. Are you a strategic actor? And this basically is a uh, lesson in game theory. And when teaching uh, information economics, I like to make an emphasis that you need to understand or have a focus on three different things. One is value creation and value capturing in networks. The second is the characteristics of information. And the third is a basic understanding of uh, game theory. In other words, how we are dependent on each other and how to solve these interdependency dilemmas. And uh, these five rules have been taken from a, a book written by Nailbuff and Dixit entitled the, or titled The Art of Strategy, A Game Theorist's Guide to Success in Business and Life. Uh, the book talks about Vicario's thinking. I did not get the pronunciation right. But the basic idea is try and think what the others, the other party, or if there are several, the other parties would do. So think through the other parties and from the reason from their position back to your position. Uh, here is a, 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 a small example of, of this. Uh, try playing this game. Uh, I am thinking of a number between 1 and 100. You need to guess what number I am thinking of. After each guess, and excuse me for the spelling mistakes, I will tell you if my number is more or less than the one which you are thinking I am thinking of. Uh, if you guess correctly on the first round, you get 100. On the second round, you get 80 euros. On the third, 60. On the fourth, 50. On the fifth, 20 euros. And what would be your best strategy in playing this particular game? Well, uh, the best strategy, of course, would be uh, to put your first guess in the middle. Hence, you would guess, if you're playing strategically wisely, you would play uh, the first guess as 50. I would tell you that my number, the one I am thinking of, is higher. Your second guess, once again, in the middle of 50 and 100, is 75. I would tell you that my number is lower. Your third guess, roughly in the middle of 50 and 75 is uh, 63. I would tell you my number is higher. Your fourth guess is 69, once again in the middle of 63 and 75. My number, I would tell you, is higher. Your fifth guess, now you know the number is 70, 71, 72, 73, or 74. You have, for your fifth guess, a one in five chance. My original number, the one I was thinking of, is 72. So to approach this, uh, you had to think uh, what your best strategy is. And when I was assuming that you were playing your best strategy, I would make sure that I would not be thinking the number which would be on the path of your best strategy. So these are games of interdependency. Uh, the first rule of Nailbuff and uh, Dixit is to look forward and reason backward. Uh, a simple rule, but uh, and if you play chess or other board games, you will intuitively be doing this. Uh, but you also need to do this if you are involved in business or real life situations. Here we have an example of where there are two companies, the Innova company is strong in R&D, and the Dollar uh, company is strong in 
uh, finances financially strong. The business question here is, uh, should Innova invest in R&D? And note that Innova moves first. And you sort of have this uh, uh, tree, decision tree, where Innova moves first, and then depending on their move, uh, dollar will find themselves in position one at the top or position two at the bottom. And then at the end, you will have this uh, payoff table where on the left you have the, uh, the payoff to Innova, and on the right you have the payoff to dollar. Of course, the, the higher the payoff, the better the solution. And the advice is start from the end and then reason backward towards the beginning. So in practice, what does start from the end mean? It means that uh, you, are, you are Innova, but you look at what would dollar decide if they are in position one. Well, I have underlined them here, and uh, the option for dollar is either uh, if it moves high, it gets uh, the one, and if it moves low, it gets the two. Those have been shown by the uh, arrows on the right. So the natural option uh, for dollar would be, if it ends up in position one, would be to choose uh, the low, lower branch. And this move means that you, as Innova and the first mover, would get three. Now, let's study what would happen if uh, Innova ends up in the lower position, the, sorry, if dollar uh, ends up in the uh, lower posi position, position number two. Then it has these two options, which are underlined in red, uh, and dollar utility is on the right. So they either have the option of four, or the option of three, and four is bigger than three, so it would choose the upper branch, and hence you would get two. So Innova would get two. So the real options of Innova are either the, the one shown here, which one would you want, three or two? And the answer to this one is that uh, Innova would want three, so this means that their first move would be shown here. They would, Innova would show high, would move high, and then dollar would move down. And you would end up in the position three to two. So quite straightforward, but of course you need to be able to draw these uh, decision trees, and they are not always that simple and clear. Uh, have a look at this one and see if you can solve it out. And this is taken from the uh, Survivor series. And remember, look forward to the very last uh, play you have in the game, and then reason backward uh, to the beginning. In the Survivor series, uh, there were 21 flags on the field. The team to remove the last flag wins. Uh, you your team are allowed to remove one, two, or three, three flags. Your team starts. What is your strategy? And of course, do you have a clear strategy? Now try solving this one and start from the end by thinking how many flags should there be at the end so that you would be a definite winner and if so, reason backward. Okay, thank you.